What is good, everybody? Today we're back with a 2 and one WWE Elite 112 review on Xavier Woods and JD McDouble over here, Brad. We finally are finishing up Elite Series 112. Had these figures for a while, but did not get the review out until just now, so I do apologize for that. But we do have them here today, and if you guys want to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Appreciate them, as always. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% here, man. But we have Xavier Woods. We do have JD McDouble over here, McCrispy, McDonald's, whatever the hell you want to say. But we do have both here. You know, we have a brand new Xavier Woods that will match our Kofi Kingston from Elite 113. And we do have our JD McNuggets over here looking pretty savvy as we do say so. So we do have some good stuff going on here. We're going to get into the review as always, but we have our front viewing window. Very interesting gear over here. I'm interested to see. I really like the blue going on right here with the floral patterns and such. And then over here, we do have our Judgment Day. Not even Judgment Day. I, I get confused because he has the JD, you know, on his knee pads and, you know, he was a part of the Judgment Day, whatever. But on the back, we do have a shot of the talent there and there. You get a good shot there and you do have the rest of the figures in the wave, which we've already reviewed. It seemed like nobody really gives a shish about this wave. I don't know. Like, nobody really cared about the reviews. So, I don't know. You guys can let me know if you if you care about Elite 112. It just didn't seem like it. didn't seem like people were that hyped for the wave. And I don't know. Not the most exciting wave. You know, the, the Bray Wyatt had been put off a while. I know everybody's excited for Bray Wyatt to come back, but it wasn't like it was some figure that we hadn't really seen before, I guess. And then, I don't know. Is, is Are people over this line? I don't know. It just came out and it just doesn't seem like the hype was there, but you can let me know what you think there. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack both Xavier Woods and JD McDouble over here out of the packaging, and we will get into this review. So here we have JD McChicken and Xavier Woods out of their packaging, looking pretty swell here. I don't know how I feel about them just yet. We're going to dive into everything, of course, break it all down. And of course, at the end, we will have the photo gallery. We'll break down all the details of each figure here and just see how they compare to the rest of our figures here. This is the first time in the line JD figure, though. We've never seen him before, and he's been a long time coming. I feel like, you know, he's been around for a while in WWE, and we're finally just now getting him. I guess because, you know, he got into the main roster. He was featured more. He got in Judgment Day, so I guess they felt this is the best time to release him, which is, I don't know. They kind of, I, I swear to God, they go back and forth, man. They, they don't, they're not consistent on that. Like, some guys will get a figure just for looking into the camera on WWE television, and then some people, you know, they got to be on the damn, like, they got to be on TV for years before they can even get a damn look. So, I don't know, man. There may be a little bit of favoritism over there sometimes, and I, you know who you are, Brad. You know who you are. Anyways, let's shut the hell up. Let's get into Xavier Woods accessories and Xavier Woods, and then we'll run it back and take a look at McNuggets. And then for Xavier Woods accessories, kind of lackluster. You're getting rubber goods and interchangeable hands. And this is a best mold we've seen 652 times. I mean, I want to say we've seen this for over 100 series. We've seen the same exact vest, at least. I know for a fact I remember it with Godfather. I remember it. I'm trying to think off the top of the dome. I know for a fact it came with Godfather from Elite 39, which was forever ago, obviously. And it may have even been before that. That's just the one that comes to mind. But you do have the New Day graphic on the back with a palm tree and everything. You do have the nice floral pattern going on here. Very cool attire. I like the attire. I don't know the exact inspiration. I'm sure somebody will let me know. Xavier Woods and New Day are always getting good gear. So that's cool with me, but it's okay. It's not my favorite gear ever. And then for his interchangeable hands, you are getting the black hand tape hands, which he always wears with his attires. It's more like forearm shivers that go over his hands, and then he does have black pegs, so you don't get that break in the skin. And then for his interchangeable hands, you are getting those new Johnny Gargano, Ricochet, Kawhi Leonard handshaking style entrance hands. So that's pretty cool. So getting into Xavier Woods at the top of the head sculpt, this is not a head sculpt I really care for. Not that it doesn't look like Xavier Woods, because I think it does have likeness to the character. I just don't really really like this head sculpt that much. It's just not my favorite Xavier Woods head sculpt. I think that it's pretty cool and unique in terms of the hair, and I like that it has the piercings in the nose, which is cool. I just am not that big of a fan. It kind of looks cartoony. I don't know. It's just something about it. It kind of looks like it's smoothed or something. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite, man. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it that much, but I do like the formula, the newer formula for Xavier Woods that they use. Bobby Roode torso, bigger arms, bigger jacked shoulders, which I like. I think it fits him more. Always been a pretty jacked individual, so I like that. You do have the forearm shirt slash wrist tape style deal going on. It's not wrist tape, but it's like the forearm glove style deal there. You have the nice painted details. You gotta, gotta have like a Carolina Panthers colors here with the blue and black and silver on the belt buckle. Then you have the floral pattern going through, which is cool. The nice paneling. Can't remember who makes the, his gear or New Day's gear, but they're always doing a great job. I think I follow him on Instagram or something, but pretty talented. Maybe main event gear or something like that, but you do have the New Day on the back there. It's very cool gear in terms of everything. It's just not my favorite. And God in heaven, the exposure. Can't even see New Day on his butt 
cheeks right there. But the floor pattern goes throughout, pinless joints and everything. And then we do have the panels on the newer kick pad mold, no knee pads or anything. Now in terms of articulation, the Bobby Roode torso doesn't give you the best ab crunch, but it's not bad right there. And he can bend over pretty good in terms of the kick forward. Like the kick forward is pretty good here. Double jointed knee. The pinless joints don't feel as tight on this figure, which is good. I know that's something we've been worried about. Upper thigh cut feels good. Boot swivel feels good. And he can split. He's actually pretty articulated. I'd say I'm not having any trouble posing him around or don't find it annoying or anything. You know, you do get the shoulder up. You get the full rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed arms there. So he feels pretty good in terms of articulation. I, I like it. I think he's doing pretty well here. And I, I like the Xavier Woods, man. I think they, they did a pretty good job here. It's just not my favorite gear or head sculpt. So, I mean, that's kind of what it comes down to, right? When you get so many of the same character. We've seen a lot of Xavier Woods over the years. So there is that. But let's get into some Xavier Woods figure comparisons. And for your Xavier Woods comparison today, we do have his last figure, which I think came in Elite, what, 97 or something? Was it Elite 97? It may be, I think it was Elite 97, but this is the white gear. It's the regular edition, and you can just head swap these. It's like King Woods, and you can head swap these just to kind of see what it looks like here. And this wasn't my favorite head sculpt either, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging that more. Like, you see that? I think that looks a little bit cooler in my opinion. And then you have this head sculpt you can pop on here, and that's pretty cool too. So you can make two different versions there. And then there was the He-Man attire, which was cool. And yeah, I do have that figure. I just couldn't dig them out. So I don't have my New Day figures on display. So I have to dig around and find those guys. But this looks okay, you know. It's not terrible. But another thing I wanted to do was get in a Kofi figure and get a Big E out here just to kind of see. And we do know Kofi's coming in Elite 113, but we could put this version in there. And then we do have a Big E from when he was World Champion, I think. And you can put him in here and he looks pretty good. I, I figured like these gears would almost go together, but they don't really go together that much. But if you wanted a, a New Day figure comparison, Elite comparison on some modern Elites, this is kind of what it would go for. I do have the Elite 96 Kofi, but I think I broke him down into parts or something. So, kind of got to, I got to get that guy back in the collection. That figure was pretty underrated, even though he had John Cena shoe mold and no shin cut, which we're going to see again on the TMNT figures. But both of the those guys will be in the next TMNT line, which sh I should, hopefully I'll find those guys soon. The Roman Shredder, the Kofi, and the Xavier Woods. So, getting into JD's accessories, we do get a little bit here, but nothing really groundbreaking, I'd say. Like, we do get this entrance duster here, but it is the rubber garb here. You have the ace right there, or the spade, and then you have the JD with the white and black, which I guess you could say, yeah, Irish ace, whatever. JD, you could use that as Judgment Day, right? But it's it's to, it's to kind of a double meaning, I guess you could say, but we've seen this before. It is, you know, nothing too uh, earth-shattering like we've stated. It doesn't hinder articulation except for the ab crunch, which isn't the biggest deal of all time, but I don't know, just not the biggest thing ever. It is it is what it is, man. It's serviceable, I guess, but I, it doesn't bother me, but it's not anything to write home about. Now, the best thing this figure has going forward is going to be the interchangeable hair pieces. Now, you are getting a slight gap right there, which is kind of annoying. I've tried to close it, but not having the best look. I do like the head sculpt, though. It's a good head sculpt, good likeness and everything. A neutral face, better than yelling for no reason, so that's good. But he does have kind of a hair gap. Got the man bun, but then you can remove this, and he does look a bit weird there. But then it does come with an interchangeable hair piece that has the, you know, the bro flow. So he's got the bro flow, which I prefer. I think I like the longer hair look better than the man bun. But it looks pretty good. Good sculpt on there, and I'm not noticing as big of a gap with this one, so I, maybe that's why I like it more. I'm not sure, but it's a really good likeness. It looks good. I like the hair piece and everything, but you do get interchangeable hair pieces, which is something we've seen before on different characters, but it's executed pretty well here outside of the slight gap that you're getting. And outside of that, you do get Mike holding hands for JD. You do get the newly sculpted Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking entrance style hands, and you do get Fist to beat the hell out of people. And then we're getting into McCrispy right here, and I like this head sculpt like we stated. I think it's a good head sculpt, and I like the hair piece removal and everything thing like that. Wish the beard was a bit thicker, but not the biggest deal of all time. I think it's a good likeness and everything like that. Loki kind of looks like a bully from my middle school and high school days. Dude was such a prick, man. Jesus in heaven. I, I guarantee, like, you know, people that... People that are typically bullies, they're usually, they have like a hard home life, but Jesus Christ, man, he was brutal, like, and he was like bigger and stronger than everybody, so, you know, it's like typical bully shish, but damn, man, that guy, that guy was an asshole. Had to play football with him for a few years, just a total dick. Didn't think he got addicted to drugs, but hate to see that. Who's getting bullied now? But we do have JD right here in the face, he's looking pretty good there, again, like I said, and one thing you'll notice about this figure, man, he kind of has some quality control issues, at least mine does, we get up in here and see. Like right here, you see how it's got like this white bluish paint. Then on the arm, it's like kind of scuffed and has this black thing. And then on the wrist tape right here, it's kind of warped. And then on the arm, I'm getting a little paint chip. And then on the ass. 
have. It has like this indention. So my figure must have just gotten bullied itself, you know? It, like it got beat the hell out of or something. But on the back there, you do have, you know, just a plain old figure. You know, it kind of reminds me of like an Austin Aries kind of deal there where it's just, you know, regular Daniel Bryan torso, regular arms, everything like that. God in hell, will you focus before I bully you, camera? Got the JD on the tights. I like the tights and the teal and the black and everything. You have the ace or the spade there on the knee pad with JD and then you just have black kick pads. But all things considered, this figure is pretty poseable. I mean, it's the Daniel Bryan torso. You have good articulation all the way through. Like, he can... Oh, no. I spoke too soon. Look at that. He's got that damn shimmy right there. Yeah, that sucks eggs, but I didn't really find... Like, he is on ball joints, but I didn't really find any issues posing him around, but yeah, that kick forward, you saw that, man. So, yeah, he's got the damn Rey Mysterio syndrome or Elite One syndrome where... Oh, man. I spoke too soon. I thought he was pretty poseable when I was just posing him around, but now that, uh, now he's got that lean forward right there, that's why. It's because he has that damn thing where his leg goes back in place. I can't stand that shish. The the best way, the best thing to do is, I think the best thing to get rid of that is to heat up the leg, remove it, and then add it back, and possibly, you could possibly shave off a little bit of the inner ball joint a little bit. I don't know, man. It's, it's very challenging, but let's get into some JD figure comparisons here, and since this is a first time in the line, we do have our Judgment Day comparison. So we have our Elite 110 Rhea, our Elite 109 Dominic, our Elite 109 Damien, and our Elite 110 or 111 Finn Balor figure with a head swap and custom goods there. So there you go. And JD is not taller than Finn Balor, bro. Are you kidding me? Look at this shish. I'm pretty sure they're ex they're at least the same height, man. I'm just telling you, they make Finn Balor way too damn small, man. Put some respect on the man's name. I mean, his shish is ridiculous, but that's pretty much all I have for your JD figure comparisons just because I don't really have anybody else to compare him to because this is his first time on the line. But I figured everybody would want to see how he fits into Judgment Day. But I think that about wraps this one up, man. Elite 112, JD, McDonough, and Xavier Woods, man. You can see JD's like leaning forward right there. You see him? He's kind of doing the damn Michael Jackson thing where he's kind of leaning over and not falling. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't know, man. I like the JD figure. I think that it is worth the pickup. First time in the line. Definitely a solid figure, and it looks just like him. I just think my quality control of mine is absolute dog shish. I, I, I don't know. Like, you can see it has like, I don't know. There's a bunch of nicks and bruises on the figure. It's got some chipping and stuff. It's a very weird deal going on right there, but this is definitely worth the pickup. You could easily turn this into a Judgment Day gear, too, if you wanted to. I know that's not what it's kind of sold as, but you could easily fix it up, put a shirt on it, do different things like that, or if you just want him as a single star, you could do that as well. I don't think that's a problem. I think he poses around well. He's going to be a solid figure to your collection, but the Xavier Woods, to me, is skippable. I don't really like this head sculpt. I like the formula. I just don't really care. Like, it's not my favorite gear. It's not my favorite head sculpt. I think he has better figures, and his head just looks very cartoony to me. It's not a bad head sculpt, per se. I just am not really a fan of it, I guess. And I don't know. It's just not my favorite Xavier Woods. I think we've gotten better ones, and I think there's better ones to come. I would recommend the TMNT one over this. I just am not the biggest fan of this Xavier Woods figure. Definitely not my favorite in the set at the slightest. But the JD figure is definitely worth the pick up. I like the interchangeable hair. I think that's pretty genius there. You have, you have the long hair. You have the man bun. It just kind of comes down to what you want to do there. But at the end of the day, if you want to grab these, you can do so. Over at Ringside Collectibles, as always, use code MD toys to save yourselves 10 percent but i think that is pretty much going to wrap up the review man i hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below of course but that is going to wrap the video man huge shout out to our patreon members man appreciate you fellas thank you guys so very much for your support as always i always appreciate you guys so very much but that is going to wrap the video man thank you guys for watching leave me your thoughts down below as always follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my name toys i'm getting the hell out i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i will catch you guys later